Well, hope and celebration, that is the message one artist wants to send about her homeland, Afghanistan. Hangama Amari fled in 1996 as the Taliban first rose to power, and now she wants you to get to know the country the way she remembers it. At the Denver Art Museum, Hangama Amari became the first living artist from Afghanistan to have her work showcased. She creates art with textiles. These intricate pieces are bright and colorful, a celebration of her homeland. All my work is based on those memories that I have left off from Afghanistan. Amari fled as a refugee when the Taliban first rose to power decades ago. Her childhood memories of Afghanistan are happy ones. They're always very celebratory, very happy memory. And that's why my pieces are so colorful as a result of that. So if I am painting a different picture, it might um, tell a different sort of a story. Amari remembers vividly how life started to shift under Taliban rule. Her art reflects the displacement suffered by women in Afghanistan. Christoph Heinrich, the director of the Denver Art Museum, says the museum hopes to give more female artists a voice. To see a woman's take on a culture that is so much formed and um, shaped really by uh, the men. Amari's favorite piece was inspired by her mother. A refugee or being a single mom with four you know, children, a beautiful pose that I saw in a photograph. And uh, I wanted to dedicate that piece and kind of bring that piece alive. There are traces of home, not just in her art, but even in her visit to Denver. I feel like the landscape of Denver really reminds me of Afghanistan for some strange ways. I think it's because of the, uh, the geography and which is it's also like surrounded by mountains. It is her first visit, but Amari hopes to come back. Well, you can see Amari's art through a collaboration with the Art Museum and the David B. Smith Gallery through July 1st. It is 518 right now.